The Deputy Speaker, House of Representatives, Honorable Benjamin Carlos, says the legislative arm of government contributes significantly to creating an enabling environment for quality education and assuring that the right to education is upheld for all Nigerians. He said that the summit was aimed at addressing the issues emanating from the Student Loans Act 2023, a law that promotes more equitable access to quality higher education for the children. Carlos said education is integral to the development of any nation and no country can afford to toy with the future of its young people. President, National Association of Nigerian Student Nans, Usman Barambu on his part says there is a need to make the student loan accessible calling on the lawmakers to amend the Student Loan Act. Barambu requested that the House include student representation on the board and capture polytechnics and colleges of education on the board instead of only National University Commission NUC, which was earlier captured. Barambu at the Legislative Summit on Students' Loan and Access to Higher Education held by the Adult Committee Thursday said criteria for access to loan in the current Act was too stringent, adding that the method of payment of two years was too short and should be reviewed to at least between four and five years. While JAM calls on government to extend the student loan beyond just school fees to other facilities, the Chairman Federal Inland Revenue Service FIRS, Mohamed Nami, on his part said the FIRS is committed to working with the party Parliament on the student loans project and, and as soon as the mandate is given, the funding will be made available. The student loan will kick off in the 2023-2024 academic session. Organic Victor, ITV News.